This is really nerve-wracking, um, in a great way. It's a, it's a rush, you know, but it's, it's definitely like out of my comfort zone for sure. I haven't done one of these in a while where it's just you and an acoustic guitar, and I love it. It's, it's super fun. It, you know, either this or playing with my solo band in a place like this, but it's louder uh, to playing, you know, to, with Foo Fighters and, and big festivals and, and, and big shows and stuff. I mean, it's, 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 they're all great, but this one makes me the most nervous, <laughs> for sure. Because you're like right there with everybody, you know? Nothing to hide behind. Yeah. Oh, mama, hey, have you heard? I'm about as good as a liar's I think of all my solo records being, they're really like the sum of kind of all my influences and it's, I've, nobody's ever described uh, one of my records as uh, Led Zeppelin meets Merle Haggard before, that's the first time I've ever heard that, but I will totally take it. I mean, those are two solid uh, influences for sure. I mean, I love country music and I love classic country music and I grew up listening to rock and roll, so it's kind of all in there, you know, whether it's classic rock, heavy metal, punk rock, you know, country, Americana, just roots music generally. It's just kind of, it's all in the soup. Well, they are reviews meant for something. It ain't looking back. Fuzzy dies next to Jesus in a Pontiac. Police asking Jimmy in a week or two. But what holy's in only she knows the damn truth. So with black top and the little white lines in the show, Like this is where you're like, how do you juggle it? I don't know. It can, it can be kind of challenging sometimes. But with most of it, you know, I sort of just fit in my solo stuff or my podcast or whatever it is I'm, I'm doing um, just kind of in the cracks in our schedule. And it all works out usually because, you know, as busy as we are, you still there's still time um, to, you know, like when I made my new record, it was I started making it during the sort of COVID lockdown time period. And so there was no touring or anything. And, and then as soon as we started making it, then touring kind of turned back on. We started um, and then it became a little challenging and it took a minute to, to get the whole thing done. But I don't know, you just you just figure out little gaps in, in your schedule. I mean, a lot of times it's when I'm home and if I'm not working on Foo Fighter stuff, I'm just home being a dad. But there's those hours in the day when, when my kids are in school. So I'll just jam like a rehearsal and a podcast interview and whatever I, you know, answer 8 million emails and get all that stuff done kind of while they're, while they're doing that. And so, you know, so to try not to let it all get in the way too much. <laughs> Thank you.